Hello Taurus, welcome to the Illus Illuminator. We are going to do your he says she says spread for the month of July and see what is going on with you and whomever you are dealing with. So, what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising and whomever they are dealing with? What are the messages for both people? What is going on? What is going on? For you and whomever you're dealing with, Taurus. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. Let's see. Ooh. Ten of Pentacles reversed, Nine of Swords reversed, Knight of Swords reversed, and then we have a Judgment, the Awakening. So for some of you, I see some type of change within the home life, a change within... Um, some type of a commitment could be relationship issues or uh, family issues is what I'm picking up on as well. And I feel like you've been worried a lot about the future of this connection, whether that is family based or whether that is relationship based. So this has been something that has been very much on your mind. For some of you, it might have been some type of a fallout or you feel like the relationship is not giving you the abundance or the loyalty that you were seeking for. And I feel like some type of energy is here saying that you are really tired of trying to figure it out. Like you're really exhausted in trying to ask questions or try to understand where the situation went wrong. And I feel like you're coming to some type of an awareness or some type of an awakening call to put this past situation uh, to an end, there is going to be some type of deep realization that is about to come in where you're going to make a final decision, yeah, to put an end to this past relationship. I do feel that this is a relationship that has caused you a lot of stress, a lot of instability, and, you know, there has been a lot of drama and you just want to you know, move away from it. Like you're just like, I need to put things to an end. I need to come to a finality in uh, putting an end to this whole um, trial that has been going on. So it has not been easy with this death card being in the reverse. It looks like a lot of, a lot of secrets may have came out, which you, which really threw you off off guard, off shelter, actually, and you're still in the midst of transmuting that energy. So you may feel very depleted, you may feel very tired, because over the last period of time you've been overthinking about what was the missing component in this connection, and it, you've been thinking about it for so much that it's now starting to have an effect on your mental state and you're trying to avoid thinking much longer about it because sorry there's a fly and i know it's going to come into my mouth now <laughs> so if you see me like coughing in like a minute or so just know so yeah you're coming to a finality you you're coming to a judgment call here and i feel like you're really wanting to focus towards your future you're like done with the past Things did not work out and you've tried, there's a lot of drama that came out and now you're like, okay, I need to focus towards where I want to go and not where I was. So yeah, we've got the King of Pentacles coming out. Could be dealing with another Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. We've got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. We've got the Strength card and the High Priestess. High Priestess. You're dealing with someone that is holding some type of a truth from you that could possibly turn things around if they would speak up. Well, doesn't that always... <laughs> Isn't that just a surprise? Um, you're dealing with someone that is really thinking about making some changes. I feel like your person is, because of your reaction or because of you withdrawing yourself from uh, engaging in any conflict or drama, uh, an unnecessary conflict, this person is starting to grow up a little bit. The strength card, the high priestess, and the king of pentacles. This is someone that is um, willing to make some sacrifices or changes, is what I'm hearing. And I feel like they have been, you know, 
holding themselves back from a lot of toxic energy. They have been holding themselves back from stepping into old patterns. So I do feel like there is a lot of change going on within the person that you're dealing with. I feel like they have something to say which they are holding back of. Um, maybe they, they feel like you've already moved on or you don't need that information anymore. But I feel like it's just a divine timing for this individual to to open up because they have something very solid to say here with this ace of swords as well something that would actually release a lot of burdens and 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 let go of a lot of stress from the past so yeah your person is i see a lot of change i see that the, this person has had a lot of karmic situations coming up into the service for them which are now which this person is now trying to tackle one by one. That's what I'm picking up on. And they still feel very deep spiritual connection with you. Strength with the High Priestess is definitely a very strong connection. Connected to the Crown Chakra is what I'm seeing here. So let's see, what is the blockage here? Ace of Pentacles. You feel like you have missed some type of an opportunity. The, the growth in the situation is not like you want it to be. Three of Swords. A lot of pain still about, about this commitment. Not getting off the ground. And again, we got the Death card in the reverse. So I feel like there are still a lot of things that you are not able to let go of. For some of you, you may have lost some type of um, abundance in your life due to whatever has happened. So you missed out some type of an opportunity that was related to you know your life or your work because you were so stressed out about this situation that you you maybe screwed something up or you made some mistakes at the work front and you're just like wow this situation gave me much more. Uh, pain and, and heartache and in different areas of my life and that's why you're coming to the judgment call that you need to make some changes here that are not very easy so you're still in the pro progress process of transmuting this energy of making those changes really valid but you feel like something is just not um coming to an end and it's kind of like out of your control is what I'm picking up on. It might be something out of your control. What is their blockage? What's their blockage? Nine of Swords. This person has been very stressed out as well and I feel like th this person has a lot of nightmares in regards to the situation. Yeah. They have been obsessively thinking about how to fix this. And I feel, like I said, I, I sensed this devil card when I saw the, the strength card right there. And it definitely tells me that this person is coming to the realization that their own patterns and the way that they have been very abusive or manipulating in the, ener in, in the energy um, has caused them to lose a lot of peace in their minds so they're coming to that realization it might have been a very slow progress like i said but they're getting there because they're releasing this attachment they're releasing their stress in in wanting to control situations because the king of pentacles can sometimes also be quite controlling uh, controlling in a way that they are very very much focused on how they want to do things they're very set in their ways and it's it, the pentacles. Whoa, did you see that? There was like a light flash coming in and whoa, it just like threw me off. I don't know what, what that was, but lately what I'm doing, like this week's readings have been so weird. Like I've seen like very weird shifts and you know, the energies are very, very strange. I don't know if you can feel the energies, but I can totally feel that there is something weird going on. And I can't really place what it is. So um, hopefully I can do some type of general reading to see what is going on. But this is the second time within a reading that there is something really strange going on. Not sure if you catched it, but I did. 
<clears throat> Anyhow, the King of Pentacles is someone that is very set in their ways and they've been doing the same thing over and over again and they don't like to change their ways, okay? That's, that's even in business but also in relationships, this person has a set way and they don't change how they perceive things or how they do things. But, you know, with the devil here in the reverse, it looks to me as if this person has been as much hurt as you about some things that have not been very kosher in this connection. Three of Wands. And they have not always put the work in changing themselves or detaching themselves from a lot of negative mindset or negative thinking or even... Some type of, yeah, manipulation. I feel like this person may have been sabotaging themselves in the past in this connection and maybe tried to sabotage you as well. And now they're releasing that because they understand that it's not going to give them any fulfillment towards the future. So I do see a positive shift since we have the strength card, high priestess and the king of pentacles there. But for you, for, for some reason, I'm almost getting like... Is it really done for you? Are you willing to take them even back? Justice, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Let's see. You know, are you like are you willing to care for them the way that you used to care for them? So there's a lot of questions that you're maybe asking yourself internally in order to make the final judgment call, in order to not re have any regrets in, in, in moving yourself forward. So, let's see, what's the intention? Page of Pentacles, yeah, you feel like you've, how do I say this, like you feel like, you should have taken a better look at how, at how this person behaves and then you feel like you're not going to be opening up or accepting any offers from this individual. I don't feel like you really trust them because they've hurt you a lot and I feel like you've shed a lot of tears and a lot of sleepless nights around this situation and I just feel like you're not really open for moving things forward right now and let's see what else King of Pentacles reverse and the Three of Wands. You're not seeing them change. You you feel a little bit blocked by this individual. Like you, you don't see them in a positive daylight anymore. You don't trust that this person is actually going to make those changes in in practicality. I do feel like you're not really waiting for this individual or hoping or expecting anything from this individual. So we got again the King of Pentacles reverse and I just discussed that this King of Pentacles probably may have been quite in the reverse for you in the past and that's how you see them. Like that's your intention. You're like, I, I, I don't see this person caring for me or making those changes that are necessary for things to expand in this connection. And look at that, you're, you have the two of swords in your intention. So you need some more information, you need some more proof, you need some more validation that this person is about to make those changes. And if not, I feel like you're, you know, you're gonna take your losses and move forward. What is their intention? Let's see about their intention. Six of Pentacles, yeah, I keep on seeing it. Like there is definitely a shift. You can see that you are not really into it because you've been so hurt by this person's disloyalty, by this person always uh, disconnecting as well. And yeah, Knight of Pentacles, I'm telling you, it's the cards, like it's really the cards. And they really want to come into a more balanced uh, relationship with you. And they may be still a little bit slow and move because they come up with the Knight of Pentacles, but they do want to have the reciprocity with you. I feel like, I feel like they're getting very serious. Look at that, the Queen of Pentacles. Like they do want to uh, show you that they care. I'm, I'm, I'm really seeing it. 
Yeah, Knight of Cups. Look at that. That's their intentions, you know. This is very positive. This is very positive. This is someone that wants to meet you halfway, wants to meet you where you are. Uh, they are not going to give up that easily. So, like I said, they're, they're an earth sign, so they might be very slow. Even if they're not an earth sign, they have those components of thinking before acting and really trying to set their goals and their plans straight before they make that first move. But once they do that, they're going to really want to move things forward. So, Taurus, this person has good intentions with you. I feel like it's you that is unable to let the past be bygone right now and perhaps you're not even seeing them taking any initiative that could be definitely something that is still going to shift around in the in the in the spiritual world before they can move towards you i don't see a lot of communication okay i don't see a lot of fast moving communication i do see however a lot of earth energy so with that earth energy, it may be, like I said, slow at coming, but it will definitely take place soon. Um, let's see. Let me just pull for your outside influence. Nine of Cups. They want their wish fulfillment. Whomever you're dealing with, Taurus, they have their eyes set on you. And they're being very patient with this situation, justice. I mean... Your outside influence is someone that wants to balance things out and wants to bring justice to you. And, uh, you know, they really want to be in a loving relationship with you and compromise with the justice card. That's Libra. It's the seventh house. It's all about relationships. It's about, um, you know, it's romance. It's, it's contracts. It's balance. It's karma. They want things to be solved with you. So... Expect powerful changes here for once reversed. So this person feels very restless, very unstable. You both have the nine of wands mirroring this energy. So you both are a little bit on defense, but they, they are slowly but surely dropping down their defense. They're like, you know what? I do want to make things happen. I do want to bring in justice and fulfillment to this relationship. And like I said, there is some type of a guilty consciousness. Yeah. The moon in the reverse. Nine of cups. So I do get the feeling that this individual is has been having a lot of fears surrounding perhaps... Um, getting back into commitment with you and I feel like the beautiful part of it is that they have overcome a lot of these fears they have really you know take a deep look into their own behaviors and their own patterns and that it's not moving them forward into a more positive perspective perspective in life so I feel like with the moon being in the reverse this person has been purging out a lot of fears, a lot of uncertainties in within themselves subconsciously, definitely with the Devil and the Nine of Swords. And with the Nine of Cups, I feel like it has brought them a lot of fulfillment, as like a relief, as in like, wow, I'm not afraid anymore, or I used to hiccup to that type of situations, and I'm over that. So this person is getting over a lot of fears that they have been harboring deep down inside, which was giving a lot of struggles um, in their own behavior. So yeah, expect them to be wanting to come forward, Three of Cups with the Lover's card. So I do know that they feel this disconnection with you and they, they just want to move forward with you. I don't see this as a third party situation at all. It just feels more like this person wants to come to a place of fulfillment and and just enjoying life enjoying their harvest with you and yeah it's it's up to you now what what do you want to do i mean i don't know compassion and listen to your body yeah so this is listening to your body definitely with the nine of swords type of energy you know, don't overthink things, don't stress too much, listen to your body. If you can't 
give anymore if you're just really really drained and tired listen to your body and try to have compassion for yourself and your body don't overwork yourself don't overthink yourself about the situation um, you got sincere relationships at the bottom of the deck so I do feel like whomever this individual is has very sincere feelings for you and I mean it, it could be definitely a new person if, if if this is definitely the path, this could be a new person that comes in, but anyhow, I feel like there is here someone that has deep emotions for you. Let's see. Communication is key, that's what I stated. Like you don't you you both are not communicating, and communication is about to be had or needs to be had in order to solve these issues, just like usual but yeah communication is key communication will solve a lot of problems so if you are going to get in communication with this individual try to be very you know easygoing and uh, you know you can definitely tell about the hurt that you've that they've caused to you but you know try to do it in a way that it is still helping the communication to to solve the issue and not just you know blaming and all the all that type of stuff you know what I mean so let's see what more Ooh. okay what is the message for Taurus before I move on to the extended reading it will be on my website thealistilluminator.com you can find the link down in the description box below this video try to purify your mind Okay, because there's a lot of stress, there's a lot of worry. Uh, I feel like you're trying to release it, but within the dream state, it's still there. So try to purify your mind, try to meditate, try to clear up a lot of that negative thinking and negative mindset so that you can have a clear, pure communication because that's what's coming in. So yeah, that's really, really beautiful for you. So thank you. Taurus, I hope this reading resonated with you. Drop a like if it did or dislike if it didn't. Whatever floats your boat. And I will continue this reading and see what else is going on in your connection. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.